just had this crazy weird good pregnancy dream really early on a Friday morning. It's 6 45 and I am up early because I just had this crazy weird good pregnancy dream. Um, I thought I would vlog early and share it with you guys but I'm also cooking my breakfast. That's the reason why I'm up early too but I just got out of the shower. I didn't do my hair. I didn't wash my hair. It's the second day here. I don't usually wash my hair every day. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's get back to the pregnancy dream. <laughs> so, as you all, you all may know, or probably not, but my um, ultrasound appointment is on Monday, and that's when we find out the sex of the baby. And so, okay, so the dream was, you know, we had this ultrasound. And, you know, they were check you know how they check everything like during your 20 week ultrasound appointment. So the first thing that we saw, <laughs> oh my god, was like a full grown baby. Seriously, it looked like a full grown baby, but still in my tummy. Like I could seriously picture what the baby looks like. Like it's so, so unreal. Um, so the baby has teeth. <laughs> Not just one, not two, not three, but I believe there are like five upper teeth and maybe like a couple at the bottom. I can't remember, but the baby has teeth, you guys, and the baby was smiling and he's got a dimpled or he, I don't know. I couldn't tell the sex, but the baby has a dimple too because the baby was smiling and the smile was just like my smile and he's got a dimple. Oh, how, how cute. So, and, um, and we had to stop after that because they were like, okay, well, let me go check the doctor if, because it was the, um, the ultrasound tech, I guess, that was doing the, the thing. So they were like, let me go check with the doctor if the teeth are normal. And, um, and, but then they explained that it was normal. <laughs> as soon as the baby comes out, the teeth will go away. <laughs> Uh, it was the weirdest dream, but it's like it was so so real that I I swear I Like I, I like pictured how the baby would look and I guess like the baby I couldn't really tell who I mean he's got the baby He's got my smile like JJ has my smile and he's got a dimple like Javier has a dimple Always wanted to have a baby with a dimple um, but we shall see. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh. While the egg is cooking, I'm making my uh, smoothie. Uh, so I, I don't I, I haven't shown you this in a while, so thought I would show you. So I've got a little something different going on here because I've been putting avocado in my smoothie. So I've got avocado, banana, yogurt right there. And I'm adding, instead of chia seeds, this is the chia seeds container, but instead of chia seeds, I'm, I'm putting flax seeds. I know, I'm so like, I'm such a cool person. <laughs> I use the chia seeds um, little container thing and I erased it and I just put flax seeds. So, but you know, it works. So I just put like a tablespoon of flax seeds. Um, so flax seeds, they're in. And then, of course, my protein shake, my doTERRA protein shake, and the doTERRA greens. And also, you know how, I don't know if you guys remember, probably not, like, the taste of the doTERRA greens, like, I'm still trying to get used to it, but I found out a way to, to not have that strong green taste to it. Hold on, I'm opening this. Oh, okay. Um, I just put, instead of like a full scoop of tear greens, I only use half a scoop. So, and I am like running low. Oops, hey. So I just use half a scoop of the tear green, like this much. Um, yeah, so half a scoop. You guys see that? 
So about half a scoop of the tarot greens. And that goes in there. And then like a full scoop of the chocolate trim shake. A full scoop of that. I hear baby footsteps upstairs. I think I just woke JJ up. Is he coming down? I have, he's coming. Do you guys hear that? I had to flip my egg. Because I'm making my eggs too. See, I hear JJ. I'm down here, Jay. I'm making... Oh, to, oh I broke the yolk. No. Yes, I broke. Oh, I'm, you're going to daycare, buddy. I broke the yolk. Okay, so this is my app, my morning snack, morning, I don't know, second breakfast, I guess. So I've got hash brown, hash brown, I've got the egg with broken yolk, and then avocado. That's my morning snack. And okay, let's continue on this shake. So I've got my um my chocolate protein powder right there. And I also added a drop of peppermint oil from, you know what, from doTERRA, peppermint oil. So it makes it like, it tastes seriously just like uh, peppermint chocolate mocha, not mocha, but like pepperminty, like Christmas, Christmas in a cup. So I just put one drop because two drops will be like super strong pepperminty. So kind of like Andy's, you know, those, um, mint chocolate so it tastes just like that it's so so good so good so good so yummy so that's that and then just my vanilla and sweetened almond milk in the blender cup mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you blend it all together and you got yourself some really good healthy yummy oh so good protein smoothie in the morning all done and the avocado makes it super super creamy which i like so much so i'm gonna get ready for work put my makeup on put my face on since i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of looking at my bare face right now but let's say hi to jay first jay's watching tv he's gonna stay down here while i get ready upstairs good morning no how was your sleep no nosebleed today? Is your nose clear? Can I see your nose? Dave, <laughs> don't have my blanket. He's, he's so sensitive with his blanket. If I touch the blanket, he goes, no, you're hurting the blanket. All right, let's see your nose if there's bleed, there's, there's blood. Mm, nose is clear. I think we're clear. I think we're clear. What do you think? Good? Yeah. Are you gonna stay down here? I'm gonna be upstairs, okay? Okay. But I want to watch Magic School Bus. Well, you are watching Magic Magic School Bus right now. You stay down here, watch Magic School Bus, and I'll be upstairs putting my face on. Okay. Okay. Or I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. I will be right back with my face on. Face is on. Face is on, you guys. Um, I am quite early. I actually went downstairs. Where's my other football? I went downstairs at like 7.40. That's really early. So, I decided... Uh, sure. So, I decided to edit the vlogs. I have been so, so behind on my vlogs. I am so sorry, you guys. I just updated the one from Wednesday, like Wednesday's vlog. I just update, I, I just edited it. I'm so sorry, I'm just so, so behind. Like yesterday, I was just so in the mood of cleaning up. And after I cleaned up, I wanted to edit, but I just stayed in bed and watched TV with heavier. But that's all right, I, I, I don't know, I just need a break. I need a break, I'm doing a lot of things, you know, so. I'm getting my stuff ready for work. I've got my watermelon. When I was editing, I mentioned that the avocado or the watermelon that I got at the Asian store, it didn't look good, but they were actually really, really, really good. They were so, so sweet. I am, um, we have like a little bit left, like a one container left, and I'm pretty sure it'll be gone by Saturday. So, um, it's time to go to uh, 
Costco. Yeah, our fridge is seriously empty. Like I mentioned yesterday, I cleaned up the fridge. Like I threw, I mean not threw a lot of things away, but we pretty much ate um, the food that we have here, like the leftovers and all that stuff. The fruits that we have from two weeks ago, like the way I, like the, the grapes, the four, I think it was four pound grape. The four pound grape that I got at Costco, I bought it two weeks ago. And usually well, strawberries don't really last, like they go, they go really bad, like they grow mold and stuff. But this time, the way I wash my watermelon, or not, no, what, not watermelon. I don't know what I'm saying. The way I wash my fruits now, especially um, grapes and strawberries, is I soak them in water first. And then I put like a drop or two of lemon essential oils and I just let it sit there for like, I don't know, a few minutes and then I rinse it all again and then put them in like a container, like a big container. And seriously, it will last me two weeks or so. Like it's like it, it won't go bad because I guess with the lemon oil, it just really kills all that pesticide and all that crappy stuff on the fruit. So that was that was pretty awesome so I don't have to throw anything away I don't have to put a lot of things in the freezer because once they go bad or once they start to go bad I try to put them in the freezer so I could just so it'll last longer but that this way I don't have to do that like I get to eat all my fruits without freezing them it's just lovely that way okay let's get going here I should stop talking we're sporting Superman today Okay, he doesn't want to show. I'll show you guys later. Okay, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, Superman. See, he's wearing a Superman hat, a Superman sweater, and a Superman pants. I don't think he's wearing a Superman shirt inside. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. I can't remember what I put on him. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go head out. Seriously, how cute is this boy, Jay? But look up. How cute is he? He looks just like Javier. So I I wasn't sure what to do for lunch today since I didn't work out or I wasn't planning on working out at the gym today. So I was like, should I go to Target? Should I go to Panera and get their green smoothie? Should I? I just want, I wanted to do something. I wanted to get out of the office. At 3 o'clock, I'm like, okay, maybe I should go right now and maybe walk to Panera or something. And then I got a text message from... The lady at daycare, he's or she, she told me that JJ is running a fever a hundred point nine. What the heck? I uh, he was fine this morning, really. He was like he his good old self, and now he's got a fever. I um I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I uh, it's three twenty. I'm on my way to pick him up and see how he is. Um. She said he's breathing okay, so that's a good thing. So maybe it's just, I don't know, just a random fever. I have no idea. But hopefully he is, he's fine. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, just a slight fever. And it will go away in like a minute. Because I don't want to be home for another weekend and be stuck at home in bed and him trying to get better. Oh my gosh, fever, what the heck? home JJ's downstairs and where is the thermometer thingy there it is um he seriously does not feel very well he's just he just has a fever he's not um he doesn't he's not he's breathing fine which is good like I said earlier he still has that cough and sniffle sniffling a little let's see what his temperature is he okay Hey, the mama, thank you. Sorry. 100.7. Okay, let's get this baby better. Got peppermint oil. Where is my peppermint oil? Well, I have to use this unless you want to take medicine. Do you want to take medicine? Okay, well, let me put the oil then so we can break your fever. Huh? Okay, not on your dress on your feet, okay? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's get this fever kick in the butt. Okay, since I didn't have snack today, I am gonna have snack right now. I'm so hungry. So hungry, you guys.
so so hungry what should i have i don't know let's see what we have in the fridge bad choice but i'm having ice cream it's the creamsicle from i don't know brayers or something but i'm i just kind of need to finish it up so it'll, it's not in the freezer anymore so this is my snack don't judge i know it's bad who cares if it's bad <sighs> Okay, so fever is down to 99.5. So, I'm gonna check back again probably like an hour and see if it's normal, back to normal. But I don't know, he's just laying down watching TV while I, I don't know, look for more food in the freezer or in the fridge. Um, when I picked him up, the daycare lady said that he was fine in the morning. He was playing, he was he ate his lunch, his breakfast, and he actually shared his jellos to his friends. Um, but then when he woke up from his nap, that's when he didn't want to get up. And when I picked him up, he, he was actually laying down on the floor with his blankie. Like he was still laying down on the mat with his blanket. So, um, and he's just like, you know, not himself. So I feel so bad, but he's just there watching Magic School Bus and just laying down with his blanket. And of course, when I sat down on his blanket, he goes, Mama, you're hurting my blanket. Oh, boy. But, um, yeah, he, he just, I guess he just needs to, he just needs to relax and just rest, I guess. Or just maybe wants me to go home. But, I don't know, I'm still hungry. I want food. I just don't know what to eat. My sick little one fell asleep. got his blankie and his um his pillow i don't know if you guys can hear me but i gotta whisper because i don't want him to wake up but his temperature is down to 99.1 i just checked it it was 99 point something 99.1 so i'm gonna put more oils on his feet i am putting on guard to kill whatever virus he has and also peppermint for his temperature so with that being said, I think I'm going to call this, call this a night and just cuddle with this baby boy. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye, little one. Hope you feel better. Uh.